The title of this video is not clickbait. I mean it literally. I can't wait to see the sunlight tomorrow. I imagine most big YouTubers enjoy making videos, but the videos are a medium. They play games they want to play, or they're building projects that they find really cool. Mr. Beast makes his videos for the sake of making YouTube videos. I just want to be the biggest YouTuber I can possibly be and make the best videos possible. I just want to be the best YouTuber I can. Why do you want to be the best YouTuber? I don't fucking know. Don't know. And to state the obvious, he's really good at it. I know that if we film this video, it will do well, just because I've spent a decade of my life hyper obsessing over YouTube and I have a good pulse on it. What I'm getting at here is that Mr. Beast understands the algorithm and chooses videos he knows will do well. This means that the focus of Mr. Beast's videos is an accurate reflection of what the algorithm wants. There's no singular accepted definition of rogue AI, but I'm going to define it here as a case where an artificial intelligence causes danger or harm to humans in a way that was not intended by the AI's creators. A significant number of Mr. Beast's most recent videos involve keeping himself or others isolated from the outside world for extended periods of time. When I sleep, I dream of me in the outside world and the most exciting part of my day is being this close to the red line. Sorry, I don't know why I'm tearing up. <laughs> I, I don't physically I'm... feel my eyes stinging just because of how bright the lights are in here. I feel dead. I really need to get out of here. This feels to me like genuine psychological distress. This is a harm. Again. Mr. Beast understands the algorithm. If there was another type of video that would be doing better, he'd be making that instead. This is what the algorithm wants. It's safe to say that no one who wrote or designed the YouTube algorithm did so intending to reward solitary confinement. But that's what happened. And here we meet the definition. The YouTube algorithm is a literal rogue AI and Mr. Beast is pushing himself and others to the limits in its service. Before we close out, I do want to say that I actually really like Mr. Beast. I often wish that I had his drive and sense of purpose, and he's done a lot of good for a lot of people. And I don't think the people in his videos are victims. Going through an ordeal and then coming out the other side victorious is not something to pity. It's one of the things that gives life meaning. And yet, I still find the whole thing unsettling. Anytime you say the word algorithm, just replace it with audience, and it works perfectly. Like, essentially, by studying the algorithm, you'll learn that you're more studying human psychology, right? What do humans want to watch? What do they find enjoying? The YouTube algorithm isn't Skynet. It's just us. The algorithm gives the people what they want, by any means necessary. Here, I'm at my limit. But just let me out. This is torture. Is he crying? If you like this video, it would mean a lot to me if you like, subscribe, you know the drill.